Yo, what's going on? This is Josh back with another one anyway banger. You feel me? You see the quality, you see the uh you know what I'm saying? You see you see the quality, you hear the voice, so it's gonna be a banger. You already know. So make sure you turn the post notifications. If you new, go ahead and subscribe. And then also to ask me comments, ask me questions down in the comment box too. You feel me? And then also you can add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Breeze or Die. You feel me? If you need anything just holler at me you know what i mean As ask me your questions or send me a picture of your ways too because i got you you feel me so add me on there do all that do all that good stuff um but yeah we'll get into this video man we'll give you all this high quality video you know what i'm saying i come through with the high quality so you know i got you so we're gonna get into how to train your 180 ways man i feel like this is this is a goaded topic you feel me because i feel like it's not really explained all right so we're gonna jump right into it you know what i mean i'm gonna cut to the chase tell y'all what y'all need to do so basically in this video, man, it's going to be real simple. It's going to be real easy. And y'all don't really have to bump your heads too much on this. But basically, what you're going to need is a gold sporting ways, man. Gold sporting ways is golded. Gold sporting ways is golded. So you got to make sure you have that. And then I would also say have like a silky do-rag. But those two, when you're setting in your progress and setting in your pattern, those are the most two essential things that you're going to need. So I'm going to say it again. It's going to be the do-rag and it's going to be the gold sporting ways now obviously you know because everybody has their own way of kind of like doing things you may have a different type of pomade but you know if you're starting out i said just go so hopefully you ain't buy it yet but if you have another one you can use it until then until like i guess you run out but yeah the gold sporting ways is important because as i say the gold sporting ways is like a memory card you know what i mean it saves in the progress so that way you know assessing your pattern so that way you get a cut it's like waves everywhere you know what i mean like seasick you feel me like everybody can see it's like obviously like, all right he got waves you feel me like this is old at this point because you're just so good at waves you feel me so in order to get that point your hair gotta be trained you feel me it's like it's like a dog you know you can't really bring your dog everywhere if you're not trained because he might bite people you feel me so you gotta learn the process the same thing with the waves you gotta understand like all right this is my hair this is how it works this is how i'm going to train it and you train it with your do rag and you train it with the cold sport waves so basically, you know, after you do your process, you know, brushing, brush sessions, hour brush sessions, everything like that, you're going to want to make sure all that is saved. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to go without having that because if you go to sleep without a do-rag, you're literally going to set yourself back. You'll be pissed because it's like you literally spend an hour brushing for a process that may not even work. You know what I mean? Like it might go away. It may not. So it's just like to make sure it's set in and it's for certain make sure you have both of those man like make sure you have both use them both and then do rag let me get on this please listen to me wear your direct every day every night especially every night like every night is important every night is like the most important time every night please listen every night is the most important time but also what you can do is stack on to that so you can wear it all right during the day or you know during the afternoon you know what I mean? I know some of y'all may have school, different obligations, everything like that. You may have to take it off. But as soon as you get done, it just makes sense for you just to throw it on. You know what I mean? Especially if you knew you get into your progress and you want to make sure you get into that pattern that you want. And, well, you know what I mean? You want to get to that like that elite pattern. You got to make sure you have it every day. It's got to be on you. You know what I mean? Like just how you have your phone every day. Like you got to have it right, you know, because it's just like you don't want to set yourself back. You don't want to lose progress because you just work so hard to get to that point. You know what I mean? Like you just brush for an hour. Or you've been going, you've been watching my videos, you've been going crazy on the brushing. And you like, man, you know, my waves just really not hitting like that. So you, in order to combat that, man, Go sporting ways. You gotta say the progress, and then you can't mess up the progress that you just say with the sporting ways. We're not putting on a do rag, man. So please, it's real simple. It's really just those two. Like honestly, like yeah, you can brush. Like that's important, everything like that. But it's really everything works hand in hand. But it's really no point even going further if you're not even gonna save your work that you did. You know what I mean? It's like you typing a paper. You for me? And all the work is gone you know what i mean you don't want to waste your time so make sure you have those two um a lot of times i also get questions about like the 360 wave product like the one in the blue you feel me and also the black sporting waves i don't recommend those pomades just because the hole isn't as good so basically with the hole you know that's when you rag up you have your doer going like i have right now right 
and then you put in the pomade and then you will notice that sometimes if you don't put it in correctly or not as often your hair may over curl you feel me so that's not good because you want your hair to be laying down as best as possible because if not if a barber cuts over your over curled hair it's not going to lay down it's going to you have to brush it back in you know what i mean you have to keep brushing you have to keep brushing it may even gash too if you're not careful so you really want to make sure that you're like either combing it or you're getting that hair laid down you're getting the train because the better it's trained the better your waves are going to show up and then also too is going to set in the pattern so no matter what cut you get almost like really unless you scalp but like no matter how low you go it's going to show your waves man that's my main thing is that I want you guys to get to the point where it's like you get it cut and your waves are going to show automatically and it's going to be smooth sailing from there because you have the pattern your hair is trained. So training waves is very, very important, especially for 180 waves, because a lot of times people start from 180, then they go to 360, then they go to 540, then they go to 720. So just having that foundation, having that 180 wave foundation to where it's like, I have this down packed, I'm good, I'm Gucci. Next time I do a different pattern, it's gonna be easier to me. I know the steps, I know how to train my hair. You know what I mean? Before I go into something more, you know, difficult or something that takes a little bit more time like different types of waves so you want to make sure that you have those two man i want to repeat this you want to have the gold sporting waves and you want to have the durag because those are the most essential thing for training uh and it's even even i know it sounds a little bit different but even having like a brush brush comes third on those two when you're getting your pattern saved because if you do not save the pattern it's going to mess up and you're going to create forks so basically you know as you know forks is just basically when your waves crash or it's not as even you're having like a lot of more problems with it it's not really a straight line so if you want them to be more aligned and you get rings when you do 360 waves later this process is going to help you because once your hair is trained you're able to fix your pattern even more you know what i mean like you're able to get the angles and when you get to the angles it's more like okay so this my left side isn't aligning with my right side right so once i get the angles and i get my curve brush i can hit those angles every day to get it to the point where it's all one straight line it's all going on around my head and i you know i like this pattern or if not i can cut it or whatnot but it just makes it easier once you have that because your hair is trained. Like, and after you do this for like a couple days, like you get used to it a couple weeks, it just stacks up onto your hair. Like you get more waves, like at that point. It's like you get waves on top of waves. So at the end of your cut, you're at the end of the process and you're not cutting bad waves, you're cutting good waves. So it's gonna show that much more. It's gonna be more defined, it's gonna be that much deeper. So be that much silkier because your hair is trained and you're good. You know what I mean? You're good. So just remember that you can also comb too. Sometimes I comb, like if I have time, I'm able to comb through, make sure I get to the scalp all the way to the ends of my hair, which is also important, like old hair, new hair. Make sure you want to comb. You get any like any knots if you do have that. You you know what I'm saying? Just just to go over, you know, and lift your waves up. That also helps. So that way you're not missing anything. Like everything's laying down perfectly, just for a better train. Basically, that's really what the comb does. But more important than the comb is going to be the gold square waves and the durag because that is your you know the saved file. You know what I mean? Save the waves. You know what I mean? You gotta have that. So just, you know, be on top of that. Have also, I say have different types of durags too. So that way you're never going without one. And um, you're going to be good because you want to make sure that you don't go out a night without it. So going a night without a durag is literally going to set you back so much further. Like even if you have waves, even if a guy is an elite waiver, he knows going to sleep without a durag is literally torture because you never know how you're going to sleep. You never know what's going on. You never know how your hair is going to react, you you know, different temperatures and everything like that. So just don't do that. Make sure your hair is covered. It's just a thing you got to do. It's just a thing we all do. So make sure your hair is covered every night, man. Please do that for me. And you're going to be good, man. And then basically, you know, training is not that hard. Like, it's not really like you're not training for a marathon. But good habits make for a better train, better condition. So just make sure you are stacking up. You know, you keep doing it. You're being consistent and you're going to notice 
your waves are going to get better and better and better to the point where you're elite. You know what I mean? To a point, it's like it's too easy. It's second nature at that point. It's almost like walking. You know what I mean? So just kind of think of it that way and you're going to be good. So just want to give you all that, you know, enlighten you all, kind of give you these tips of what I do. That's how I did. And um, that's how I got started. And that's how I got better at it. So just uh, follow those. Have any questions, let me know. And that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Appreciate it.